It's so crispy. Mm. Kamosta ang palay ko ay Chef June, and today I will be making Filipino food. Before I start, here's a little background story. Stick around until the end. In 2016, I was an exchange student in South Korea for one semester. But after a while, even though me and other exchange students hadn't discovered many other towns in Korea, we wanted to see other countries nearby. But wait, what does this have to do with making Filipino food? Let me tell you why. So we decided to travel. Us. Five students from five different countries. France, Turkey, Mexico, Spain and Norway. We decided to go to the Philippines. It turned out to be one crazy adventure. The thing about the Philippines is that you have to travel a lot to see things because the country is made up of over 7,000 islands. So we took a flight from Seoul to Manila, spent the day there, took a night bus that had garden chase in the aisle between the bus seats from Manila to Banawe to see the UNESCO heritage site, the beautiful Banawe rice terraces, and a bat cave. Maybe this is where Batman goes on vacation. Came back to Manila, took a plane to Boracay. Well, technically we took a plane to Calibo, then a minibus, and a boat because Boracay is an island with no airport. Had a blast, delectable smoothies, beautiful beaches, crystal clear water, and fish of all imaginary colors. Then we came back to the airport Calibo and took another flight to Cebu. Then we took a boat to Bohol, saw the chocolate hills, some cute little tarsiers, and I even watched the Champions League final between Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid at 3 a.m. in the morning in a shabby internet cafe. Hala Madrid. Then we came back to Cebu, spent the day there, and took a final flight back home to Seoul, on which I thought we were literally gonna die, due to the most insane turbulence I ever witnessed. Even the flight attendants were screaming. But why do you want to make Filipino food? So due to the fact that we were always on the move in such a short amount of time, 11 days in total, we did not have the time to discover everything, obviously. But there was always one thing that I wanted to try out, and that was Turon. Now Turon is a Filipino dessert. It's basically cooking bananas or plantain, that you wrap in spring roll wrappers and then you fry them. And that's what I'm gonna to cook today and I'm really excited about that. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes when everything's ready. Alright guys, I'm done cooking. Is he gizzy right here? <laughs> Let's dig in. Wow. It's so crispy. Mm. 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 Wow. This is a good dessert. The wrap is extremely crispy. The cooking behind the plantain is juicy has a lot of flavors, a lot of flavors. It's very consistent though. So you should not eat too much for your meal if you want to have this as a dessert, in my opinion. You could almost eat this for a meal and a dessert. But man, this is good. Filipinos, you know exactly what you're doing with your dessert. I want to see what other types of desserts you have in the Philippines. You hear the crunchiness? And with the ice cream too, this is... Whew. Tell me in the comments below if you ever had churon and how do you eat your churon? What's your recipe? What's your secret? If you want to share it with us. 
<laughs> tell us in the comments below all right so there we go thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it more videos will be uploaded soon so stay tuned and if you want me to make something just tell me in the comments below and i will do so before you leave subscribe like comment and then i'll see you in the next one bye bye